Okay, today we'll be talking about two different types of anastomosis on the bone of the femur. And these anastomosis are the trochanteric uh, anastomosis and cruciate anastomosis. Okay, trochanteric anastomosis and cruciate anastomosis. And the question is, um, how does the trochanteric anastomosis differ from the cruciate anastomosis? All right. So when they ask this type of question, they are just simply trying to make you talk about the two different anastomoses. Okay. So when you talk about them now, uh, you get to see the differences. Okay. So that's it. And this is a this is the main image that I will be using to illustrate this lecture. The movie will be talking about the trochanteric anastomosis. And um, here, this is the trochanteric anastomosis, right? This is it, okay? This area, all right? This area where like four um, arteries are meeting, okay? That's a trochanteric anastomosis, right? So let's start with it. So trochanteric anastomosis um, is an anastomosis that provides communication between the branches of the internal iliac and the femoral arteries. Internal iliac and the femoral arteries, okay? Right, so now we'll be looking at this these arteries that are actually anastomose at the level of the trochanter. So now it is situated near the trochanteric fossa and provides the part of the blood supply to the head of the femur. Okay, so the anastomosis is formed by what? Uh, once we talk about an artery, we'll go back to the image and try to see. So it is first formed by the superior gluteal artery. Okay, and this is the superior gluteal artery. The next it is formed by the inferior gluteal artery. This is the inferior gluteal artery. The next it is formed by the ascending branch of the medial circumflex femoral artery. Ascending branch of the medial um, circumflex artery. Okay. So if this is the lateral, okay, then this is the medial, okay. This is the medial. Okay, so ascending branch of the medial um, circumflex artery. And also ascending branch of the lateral circumflex artery. You will see that this is the lateral circumflex artery. So the branch going up. Okay. So that's the ascending branch of the lateral circumflex artery. And um, I think we are done with the trochanteric anastomosis. We'll be moving to the cruciate anastomosis. And guys, this is the cruciate anastomosis, all right? So back to this image right now, you see that the cruciate anastomosis is the one at the medial side, okay. And also four arteries meet at the level of the uh, cruciate anastomosis. Okay? So now cruciate anastomosis is a communication between what external iliac and femoral artery. The first one was uh, that was trochanteric anastomosis was communication between what internal iliac and femoral arteries. Why the cruciate is the communication between external iliac and the femoral arteries. Okay. And it is it's situated on the posterior surface of the proximal femur, okay, at the mid point of the lesser trochanter. Uh, the anastomosis is formed by what? It is formed by what? Transverse, um, transverse branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery and transverse branch of the medial circumflex femoral artery. Okay, so let's go back and locate these two arteries before we go on. Okay, so now, um, if this is the medial, okay, so this is a transverse uh, branch of the medial circumflex artery, then this is the lateral, okay, so this is the lateral branch of the transverse, um, uh, this is the transverse branch of the lateral circumflex artery, okay, so having spoken about the two arteries, let's go, the next we have the descending branch of the inferior gluteal artery, okay, you see that this inferior gluteal artery that also forms the trochanteric gives a branch that goes down, okay? So that's a descending branch, and this is it here, okay? And next, we have what? We have the first perforating branch of the profunda femoris artery. First perforating branch, okay? And this is it here, okay? Properly labeled, okay? So, guys, um, to enjoy this video, you could just uh, forward this, uh, back forward this, backward this video back to when I started, okay? So that you could draw this thing out because I I because of illustrating the image is dead now. Okay, so that you could follow it up, just follow it up the way I was going so slow on it. Okay, so the last one was the first perforating branch of the profunda femoris. Okay, 
Now with that guys, we are done differentiating between the trochanteric anastomosis and the cruciate anastomosis, okay? So with this guys, like to close the curtain and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.